Good evening, friends. I'm deeply honored to accept this award, and I want to thank George for that very generous introduction, and of course, the Terezine Music Foundation and Mark Ludwig for all of the wonderful things you do. I'm very sorry that a last minute matter prevented me from being with you in person, but I wanted to take a minute in accepting the award uh, to tell you about why I believe so deeply in the mission of the foundation, in the work that Mark does, and uh, uh, in its place in today's world. As a former ambassador to the Czech Republic, as the child of a Czechoslovak Holocaust survivor, as a historian who writes about this era, I know how critically important remembering the past is to maintaining the values that we believe in so deeply today. There is no one, no one who does more in the context of keeping the cultural heritage of those who suffered and perished in the Holocaust in the Czech and Slovak lands, and in particular in the Terezin concentration camp. No one who does more to preserve that uh, than the Terezin Music Foundation and Mark and all of you who support that work. Uh, the cultural legacy of those who perished is so important, not just to remember them, uh, to remember the work uh, that has been done uh, by brilliant composers like Ullmann, whose work you'll be hearing this evening, but because it is a living tribute to the human spirit, the spirit that could not be extinguished by the horrors and the hate of the Holocaust. Just think of these individuals gathered under the most adverse circumstances. What did they do in order to maintain their humanity, maintain their courage, preserve their strength? They turned to the arts, theater, literature, painting, and above all, perhaps the most transcendent of all the art forms, uh, the one that has the most capacity to transport us uh, into a different dimension, music. And that is why the Terezin Music Foundation is so important. I cherished the moments we spent together uh, when uh, your group, the delegations would come and join us. Mark would lead them for the annual Prague Spring trip where we would share the best of Prague's music, uh, past and present, and gather together uh, to uh, celebrate this connection. It's fitting that the foundation is headquartered in the United States, but does this work uh, with the Czech nation, uh, with the Terezin Memorial, uh, and uh, uh, with Czech artists and musicians. The work you do is a living bridge, not only between past and present, but between uh, the Czech lands and the United States, Central Europe and the United States. And music provides uh, the um, span across which uh, these ideas, these feelings, these individuals, and these memories are transmitted. Uh, I have uh, uh, memories that I personally cherish of these visits, including welcoming uh, Mark and uh, 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 his group to come and sit around my Shabbat table in the ambassador's residence, sharing the incredible story uh, of that building, indeed, of that table, uh, a Jewish home built by one of the uh, most uh, wealthy and powerful Jewish families in the new state of Czechoslovakia, seized by the Nazi occupiers and the same Nazi regime that sent my family and the families of so many other 
uh, Czechs and Slovaks uh, to Auschwitz. Those same representatives sat around that table where I welcomed Mark uh, and uh, a number of you uh, to celebrate Shabbat dinner with me. What an incredible uh, story that is of the turn of history, the child of a Czech Holocaust survivor uh, celebrating the Sabbath, celebrating the musical legacy of those who were imprisoned, those who perished in Terezin, in the Shoah, in the Holocaust, uh, around a the table of a home that was uh, once occupied by a Jewish family, then by the Nazis, and now again uh, by representatives uh, of the uh, uh, the diplomatic corps. Uh, there on behalf of the most powerful nation on earth. Part of the power of America, friends, is not just military might. It's not just economic majesty. It is our artistic and cultural heritage. It is the richness of this country where people have come from all over the world and brought their musical heritage. Uh, and uh, you celebrate that as well in uh, honoring uh, the legacy of the artists at Terezin and the ongoing contribution uh, they make. By playing their music, performing their music, commissioning new music in, in the spirit and to honor the legacy of Terezin, the legacy of the memory of the Holocaust, uh, you keep that memory alive and you transmit lessons for a new generation. Uh, it is such an inspiration uh, to all of us. I speak not just for myself, but for all of us in the diplomatic family. Indeed, uh, for the residents of Prague, for uh, the uh, Czechs uh, and Slovaks and the expatriates like myself who come and go from that city uh, from the Czech and Slovak lands, uh, whose lives are enriched by the work that you do. Uh, it is a blessing uh, for those who are privileged to participate in it. Uh, I'm very honored to receive this award. I'm thrilled uh, to join the distinguished honorees. I'm sorry I can't be with you in person today. I promise uh, to come and pay you a visit just as soon as I can uh, to thank Mark, uh, George, uh, and uh, the other supporters of the foundation for the wonderful work that you do, and to celebrate with you uh, the transmission uh, of the human spirit through art, through music, through literature, uh, that uh, reminds us the Holocaust is not only a dark chapter, one of the darkest chapters in all of human history, but it also offers transcendent moments of life and of light. And when we re-experience the music of those who were imprisoned in Terezin, of those who lost their lives, the artists who clung uh, to the hope that someday uh, their music would be played and enjoyed again. Uh, we're able to remember the tragedy of the past, but also to lift up uh, the uh, magnificent lessons of endurance, of survival, of creativity, of defiance uh, in the face of this terrible evil. It offers us powerful lessons in our own lives as it shapes the ways in which we must respond to adversity and must champion all that is good uh, in the world today. So uh, I want to thank each and every one of you for being a part of that holy mission carried forward through music. I look forward to seeing you in person very soon, and I congratulate you uh, on the occasion of this uh, wonderful annual event. Thanks very much.